Welcome to my channel Swiftland. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use error provider control, how to validate text box using error provider control in C Sharp Windows Palm application. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Okay, we just starting. Yes, now click on a new project. Windows, browse. I want to save you uh, project and the select in this uh, folder, C Sharp Tutorial DLC folder. And in this folder, I will save my project with the name Error Provider underscore project. Just click on OK. Now my project is created. This is the form. Uh, I will design this form with uh, text box. Actually, I will show you how to use error provider control uh, and how to validate text box using error provider control uh, in C Sharp Windows Form application. In that case, first of all, uh, um, I, I just added a label control and uh, on the text box level control it says uh, I will just uh, use it as title text box validation using error provider. Okay, now let's change the background this palm green. Yes, now this palm is looking uh, fine. Okay, add another level control. I will uh, use a text box control uh, to define the text box. Just a level text is input number and change the font size uh, for in. Okay, now the text box control from the toolbox. This will drag and drop in the form okay input number size is 12 okay oh, no pardon it's fine now now add a button control okay now just to design this button control and uh, first of all uh, change the text of the button control from button 1 to test I'll uh, test this error provider control by clicking button first of all then I will show you uh, how to build a text box, how to build a password, confirm password using error provider control in text box. Okay, uh, now back color of this palm uh, is uh, green. Also. Okay, now it's fine. Now go to the toolbox and add error provider control. What is my main focus of this tutorial? Just to drag the error provider control in your palm. Okay, the name of this error provider control is error provider 1. I will define this error provider in text box 1 okay first of all i'll show you how to check whether the text is number or is string in the text box by clicking the button test okay in that case first of all double uh, typers typers use uh, to check whether the uh, value is string or number okay typers on dot text out i i mean the number zero zero or this number okay now then I will set error in text box one error provider one dot set error text box one uh, blank and then uh, if it's number then it will display nothing I mean error provider will not display if it's not number I mean if it's string I mean a b c or or something else except number then it will display the error in uh, beside of text box one when I set text box one it's uh, display the message is it's allowed number only Okay, now just test yes input number 252 yes it, now it's the display nothing because this is to fit this number now this is this chain d f d and uh, yes now uh, if you also hope it's display there is now allowed number only okay 424 it's display nothing so i think you understand uh, how to use error provider uh, in uh, tag box using c shop in palm application now Mm, I just remove this button control and I will uh, uh, use this error provider control in text box by text change event. I just remove this code in the text change event to get the result instantly. Okay, input number, just put number. E, uh, it's not number, it's a string, that's why it's displayed error masses instantly. But if you put number, then Airport is hide. Okay, now I think you understand it easily. 
it's allowed number and okay you already uh, understand how to use error provider control using uh, text box now now I'm going to show how to validate I mean why uh, actually we usually use the uh, error provider control to validate uh, text box password and confirm password what I am showing now now the pass text box like this one I will use to password to password and the uh, text, box, text box 2 is for confirm password and I will just write code in the text box 2 text change event in that case I am just writing code if text box 1 dot text not equal to blank I mean if anything uh, put in that text box, uh, text box 1 then it will compare with text box 2 uh, so uh, the second condition is uh, yeah, text box 2 dot text equal to text box 1 dot text then uh, it will display the, uh, if it's okay then it will display nothing in the error provider control uh, i am displaying the error provider in the text box instead of text box 2 error provider 1 dot set error text box 2 blank i mean it's display nothing if uh, password and confirm password i mean text box 2 and text box 1 text are equal if it's not equal, I mean password and confirm password is not equal, then it will display the masses uh, in the um, instead of text box two, uh, text box two password and confirm password. Uh, confirm password does not match. Okay, now let's test debug. Okay. Now put password, uh, yes, save to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, confirm password, so if now it's still not matched with the password, so it's displaying the message, still it's not matched, so it's displaying the error provider. If you put uh, 7, I mean it's um, uh, equal, then it's high, hide the uh, error provider control, you can see, now it's, uh, yes, now not displaying the error provider control.